today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers. Snow and Lambeau, Coach. Something about that combo that just works, like peanut butter and jelly. And we've got half a foot of the white stuff and still coming down here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. They've been flawless all year long as they hit the home stretch at 13-0. And now they just have to guard against complacency. You still got to go out and earn it every week. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Here we go with the Packer offense, guided by their decorated QB with a long list of Pro Bowls and other accolades next to his name, of course. Aaron Rodgers leading the way. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Now throwing on first down and completing it. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. The Etor Gross Matos there to bring him down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 
Rodgers going to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Corn Elder. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. So here are the Panthers under head coach Matt Rule. Commanding the offense will be the highly touted USC product, Sam Darnold. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over 100 yards and the three touchdowns. And for an old coot like me, I loved it because he did it on the ground. A running back taking control of the game. That's what I like to hold see. Hold on, hold on. An old coot? Coot. C-O-O-T. All right, I'll look that up later. Now off the bootleg, Darnold. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Another run, this time McCaffrey. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness, did he put up a number? Let's say 200 plus. Now try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Darnold from the red zone now. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they just... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Sam Darnold. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Sly set to boot it. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10.
They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Jones hit, and the ball's out. And the Panthers have recovered. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Is that Woody he would have kept it on the ground. <laughs> The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Now Darnold. And incomplete on the deep ball. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Looks like they went for the combo play there. A nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. Throwing here on third down. Darnold going right side here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. 
with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And he's got it up and through. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 39 yards on the punt. Give them just one yard on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's McCaffrey. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Darnold down to throw. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Throwing on second and eight. Darnold, and that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. This is McCaffrey. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. 
So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. And it's the Buccaneers who are out in front with that game closing in on halftime. Tom Brady, sharp as ever. He's got two touchdown passes. From there, let's head to the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, to check in on the Broncos. And you can see they trail the visiting Buffalo Bills in that ball game. Cole Beasley, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they trail in that ball game to the visiting Seattle Seahawks. Philip Dorsett, a touchdown reception. In our game, it was Sam Darnold who was on target in the first half. His guys have the lead as the white stuff continues to fall. And for the call of the second half, we give it back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a first carry for their fullback. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his 28th touchdown, drawing level with Sean Alexander for the second most in a single year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead is now 24. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. He's giving me the evil eye, folks. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. And it's third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers about set to go on offense. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now it's Darnold. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. A very solid gain of 27. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. McCaffrey, and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. 
Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. The give to the fullback on the dive. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets them down to about the two-yard line, knocking on the door. A good run of six yards there gets them closer to the goal line with second down coming up. They'll try to punch it in with Davis. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Mike Davis hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Panthers just continue to pour it on. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Again, it's Jones. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. From the left side, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need. And that's exactly what they got done. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. 
Yitor Gross Matos in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. From the gun, Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And this is incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Panthers will get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line a gain of 13 it's a first down no doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here charles the lead in the fourth quarter this is when coaches that have a reliable running game they breathe a little easier on the sideline yeah they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game that means they're really counting on that offensive line counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back from the 25 here, second and six. On the ground, McCaffrey. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. third down 
Davis. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And no mistaking that sound. It reverberated through the whole stadium. And it's the sound, Brandon, no kicker wants to hear. It looked like he had it on target the whole way, but the upright said, uh-uh. Rodgers now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And this team just continues to win football games. They're well on their way to another victory here, and that 16-0 season starting to come into focus. And they will take a knee here. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Panthers, they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14-0. and And they'll get another road date next week when they take on Washington. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they fall to 8-6 and six with the loss. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click the like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you again for the next episode.